Hey guys, welcome back. So today I picked this up. It's a Briggs and Stratton generator, and it was very cheap. And that's for one good reason. It doesn't make power. And I'm not expecting that I'm gonna be able to get it to make power. You know, the seller said that he saw smoke pouring out of the stator. And that's a telltale sign that the stator has melted down. You know, in addition, you know, he did start it for me so that I could listen to the engine. And a few seconds after starting, the engine bogged down like it was under a full load. And that's another telltale sign that the rotor actually powered up. But internally in the stator, the power is short-circuited and heating those wires up. So if I, I shut it off right away. If I'd left it running, I'm sure smoke would have started pouring out again. So this is a parts machine. It'll be used to save other generators, but I did want to just turn the camera on real quick, pop this cover off and show you what a, what a blown stator looks like. And I don't know the reason for this, but I will say that big dent might have something to do with it. So the stator got kind of twisted sideways and pushed up. That might have messed up the alignment and caused the failure. Anyway, let me get you set up and we'll take this cover off and we'll see together the carnage. So I just got some wires out of the way so you could see a little bit better, but you can probably see right here, you know, these ropes have melted and the wires, although they don't look awful, but you can see there are some dark wires there. So this stator is definitely toast. Uh, you really can't fix it unless you know how to rewind it, but it's a difficult time consuming process. and it's a lot easier to just buy a new stator. In this case, the staters are still available, but they're about $350 for a new stator, which you can buy a used generator like this that works for $350. So it's not worth buying a new stator, but I am hoping that uh, I can find a similar generator, Briggs and Stratton with a blown engine, and then I can just marry the two together to make one good one. So there'll probably be a future video on that, but it'll take a little time to find a suitable donor. Anyway, just wanted to turn the camera on real quick and show you uh, what a bad stator looks like. Thanks for watching.